Welcome to the next micro learning video from vhjavus.com. Today's tip is about how you can create nice timing diagrams like the ones I use on my website. I am looking at my article about the ring buffer FIFO in VHDL and this page contains several of these timing diagrams. And many people have asked me, Jonas, how can you create such nice timing diagrams? Which tool are you using? Okay, I'm going to show you right now. I'm using Wavedrum and this is the webpage wavedrum.com. It's an online tool that you can use only in your web browser. You don't have to download anything. Just go to the video description and click the link to get to this page. And I recommend you start by opening the tutorial because most of the syntax or perhaps everything is explained here. When you have done that, go to the Wavedrum page again and click editor. And this will bring up an online editor in your browser. And you can change things in this code. And this is JSON code, JavaScript object notation code that uh, describes this waveform. So if I change something here, for example, change this name, wr underscore data or something like that, we see that it changes here as well. And I can change what's in the wave key here, for example, make it longer or do something else. So that's how, you, how I create my diagrams. And I'm not going to go through the syntax because it's all explained in the tutorial on wavedrum.com. But I'm going to instead paste in my code, which I used or the code that I ended up with when I created this diagram. And what's uh, changed here is that I have added a new level to um, create these grouping um, labels for grouped in signals and grouped out signals. And I've changed the scale to two because I th think the scale number one is too tight. I want to have some horizontal space. And that's pretty much what I have done. And after I've created it like this, I've gone to, to the menu here and I'm, I've clicked this one, export SVG. And I've opened this one in a vector editor program, Adobe Illustrator. And I did that just to increase the font size a bit and add these extra text and arrows to explain stuff. But that's pretty much it. If we open this SVG, we see here that it's, it's a vector drawing, so we can uh, enlarge it as much as we want, and we can select the text and all of that. And you can also export just like a regular PNG, or you can click Save As, and it will download this code, but it's already in your browser. If you navigate away from this page and back again, it's going to be here. And perhaps the most interesting part is that you can Click this uh, in the settings here. You can click this option, expand URL. It's going to give you this super long URL, which you can share with people. So if I share with somebody, let's just open a new incognito window now. So we're not logged in anywhere. Just paste this one. And the person who clicks this link, which I recommend that you make shorter than this one, use a URL shortener or something, will get to this page. And you can use this to share a wave diagram with somebody, for example, on Facebook. And I'm going to share actually this link as a shortened version in the description of this video as well. So you can click it and start with this code. Okay, that's all for this video. That I hope that was a useful tip because I'm using actually this, this uh, tool a lot. And yeah, that's a really great productivity tool for VHDL and FPGA development.